Hey, Arnie Harmy Hatsis, and welcome to Medieval Tech Tutorials. Today, we are going to take a look at uh, the pelt transmission or the uh, rope power transfer system, whatever you want to call it. I have two rules and one general piece of knowledge, and we're going to end it off with a step by step build tutorial. So, that is the plan for today. And we're going to start off by saying that this does not work. Uh, I've seen a couple of tutorials and one of them showed off this build. And I mean, this doesn't work. And even if it did, why don't you just use an axle? I'm not trying to be mean to this guy that made it, which is why I'm not saying anything about who he is or anything like that. I'm not going to share that. Uh, but I want the community to know that this does not work, so you don't start trying to do it and become angry and confused at the game and stop playing. And this actually does tie into the first rule. The first rule is that you want to stay as close as possible to the main axis. And the main axis is basically just wherever this is, so... I have this right here. You see that? That is... this is the main axis. Uh, so I want to stay as close as that as possible so that the ropes show up as one single line when you're looking at it from above. Uh, and the, the closer it is to that, the better. Uh, now this is close enough. It isn't perfect, but it's close enough and it works. Uh, the second piece of the, or the second rule uh, is that you want the, uh, <coughs> what's it called, the gears to be the same size. So this is a seven gear because there is a seven piece or the seven blocks between these guys and This is another seven block Gear and you can see that this same piece fits perfectly in the center of both of these Which means that they are the same size and that is why this works now you can change both of the gears and have a smaller gear and uh, So why would you want that large gear? Yes, that is the general piece of knowledge uh, that will help you is that if you have a smaller gear you have a more contact build but the larger gear allows for a higher power transfer so if we try to block this just to demonstrate that real quickly I'm gonna run over here place a block place it and you're going to see that this thing it stops now and uh, the reason it's doing that is because uh, it's uh, if the rotor isn't it isn't able to pull okay okay there it is. it's on but it isn't able to force these rope to turn around in this build the ropes are close enough together and it doesn't need to stretch that much for the ropes to twist so the rotor is strong enough to make them twist which they are not here which is why a larger gear lets you transfer more power than a smaller gear. And this is actually Crowlicians. It's called Super Mega Cloak Warp Drive. So I'm gonna link in the description just because he showed me this. It's a pretty nice gear. If you need a small gear, this is like the ultimate thing. This is the smallest gear you can find. I didn't even think about placing them like this. Very neat. Very nice idea. So that brings us to the build tutorial. That's the only thing left. So there we go. And uh, what you want to do is place your rotor. This doesn't have to be first, but you place your rotor and you place your thing. You check if they're reasonably close. Okay, it looks like we could move this one block more or possibly two, but we're not going to bother because oh, why would we? We don't have the time. Uh, and what you don't want to do is touch these uh, because now you have ruined the build. Not ruined, but uh, if, you, if you have the availability, if it's possible, uh, you want to not touch them at all and you can actually use uh, your um, spectator mode for this because you can still place blocks in spectator mode uh, I'm not gonna do that though uh, so you don't want to touch them make sure that this is perfectly horizontal or vertical it's at an angle zero degrees whatever you want to call it and you bring out your stick whichever size you want to do I'm gonna make a five block axle so the first you place is a uh, the horizontal piece. The horizontal piece needs to be placed first. And then you see how many blocks are sticking out from the center. So there's two blocks here sticking out from the center here. 
So I'm gonna start by placing at the bottom and then at the top. So if you do top or bottom or bottom or top, that doesn't matter. But the important part is that you place the center block first. Uh, otherwise, if you place this one first and then the side ones, then you will get this where it's too heavy on one side and it spins and it's not at the degrees at a zero degree angle anymore and you will need to well start over from scratch really uh, so let's do that do the horizontal one you place the top first bottom one then you take your four uh, rope ends and you place them equally spaced out on either side so that looks good just take a three block double check there we go yes that is the same and then you can just connect them now you're basically done you just need to connect them and stuff like that so if you manage to nudge one of them while building you'll have to start over you don't have to okay so you can manually put them back into the place by using a uh, uh, one of these turn wheels uh, but if the closer they are to being in the exact same position which these are these two are in the exact same position right now and if you're building something out of this, I would recommend quick saving right now when they are in that position. So you can reset everything to this position. Uh, because now you can add more things to this build. Uh, like more rope things. And even if you want to try it and then revert to that version, then that's, that's what I do all the time. So, yeah. The closer they are to the same orientation... Uh, the better it will work if they if one of them is a little bit offset or well, I guess both of them would be a little bit offset then it will still work uh, it will you might not even notice anything but it will be a little bit heavier you will lose power per se uh, by having that and if they are like five degrees offset you will start noticing problems uh, depending on what you're trying to achieve in the end anyway Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to have a like, share it so other people can know the secrets. And I should see you. Hold on next time.